Let's take the wig off. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Morbid Gamer here. And just in case you didn't know, we had an influx of new people subscribing to the channel, so just want to say hey, welcome. Not only that, just in case you haven't noticed, we hit 10k. Yay! And that's very much what inspired this video today. We we're doing a Q&A. So very quickly, I know I've probably said this on every other platform, but not in a proper video. And I just want to take the time out right now to say thank you to everyone who's ever commented, liked a video, watched the video, maybe even tweeted out the video, subscribed, whatever it may be. Thank you so much, because it wouldn't be possible without you guys. And that's the truth. Everybody says it, but it's because it's 100% facts. So just wanted to say that and I really appreciate it. We're so close to 11k now and that's just insane to me. So let's get started. I did ask questions on every single platform that I could and we have gathered a fair few questions. So let's get started. Now first set of questions come from Discord. If you guys aren't a part of the Discord, what are you doing with your life? Just kidding. That's usually where we hang out. The community of this channel hangs out. There is a Discord invite link in the description of this video. So check it out if you want. It's Harry Potter theme. First question comes from jo Boring and Jaded. What did you work as before becoming a YouTuber? So one, I did work with my mom for a good hot minute there. She owns a hair salon, so I did act as her assistant for a good while there and got a good chunk of change. I was a waitress for a good cool minute. That didn't last very long. Waitressing is very hard. <laughs> I was a nanny for a good while there too. Nannies are, being a nanny was pretty fun, I will say that. And then I worked in the food industry too. So there you go. Next question comes from Iconic Queen, and I already know this is gonna be quite the question just because of who it's coming from. But, anyways, bald as bitch morbid, what happened to your luscious locks of depressing hair? You know what? They're still luscious, bitch. Okay, don't come for me. So I'll come for you. <laughs> Just kidding. We're messing around. We play like that. But anyways, um, to give a little context to this question, I did used to have long hair. Then I cut it really, really, really short because I just wanted to. And I love my hair short now. And I wear wigs in case you didn't know. And it's just so much easier. So there you have it. <laughs> I busted a Britney Spears chopped it all off now that's enough of discord now we're moving on to the youtube community tab i do post there from time to time so keep an eye out but first question actually comes from kain camille probably butchered your name 100 percent but you did ask when are you going to do a get famous have been waiting um so wait no longer fam because i have posted a new get famous episode up on my channel Check it out. Next question comes from Lil Angel. What made you decide to become a Sims tuber? So I didn't start out as a Sims tuber, but what made me decide to become one is because I've always been really, really obsessed with The Sims. When I was working or when I was in school or when I was trying to make videos, Sims was always on the back of my mind. I would love playing and spending hours, I would stay up so late, throughout the night and into the morning to just play Sims and just do whatever. And I realized I have such a love for it, why not make a channel for it and do that? So it started off kind of as a hobby at first, but now I've turned it into something that I really, really am passionate about and want to do. So that's cool. Plus, shout outs to X Mira and Yanni. She used to be known as Legit Kawaii, I think. They really inspired me and kind of pushed me to become a SimSuper. So just want to put that out there. Next question comes from Enchanted Simmer. Anyways, you asked how old were you when you first started making videos? I think I was 16 maybe? This video is currently the oldest video that I have on my channel still up, but I did have other videos. I might have been when I was like 18 or 17, roughly around there. So don't know exact age, but we can kind of guess. Next question comes from G Sizzle E. Cool name. What's your favorite site to get to see and why? It used to be Lana CC Finds, but in case you haven't noticed, she hasn't really posted anything in a really, really long time and has gone AWOL. Nani? 
So, I'm gonna have to go with Simsdom. That or just your Tumblr, like, reblogging. Favorite TV show? I actually have a lot of TV shows that I like, but if I had to choose one, it would probably be Young Justice. Young Justice is a show that I really, really love. I always go back to it and rewatch. Actually, I have so many. What am I thinking? Like, Sex and the City is another one that I really love. X-Men Evolution I love. Game of Thrones, except for that last season. Sex Education. Oh my god, there's just so many. I can't. I can't choose. Unique Simmer asks, what is your favorite expansion game and stuff pack so far? Favorite expansion game thus far is Seasons. It's a complete game changer. Has no world, but it didn't even need it. It just changed the game completely. And I love it for that. And then favorite stuff pack. Actually, this is kind of a trick question because I don't have a favorite stuff pack. I don't like any stuff pack, but if I had to choose the best one out of all of them, it'd probably be like movie hangout or laundry day. One of those two. But usually I don't lean towards having liking stuff packs. Mm. M asks, when did you start playing Sims and do you play any other games apart from Sims? By the way, I love you so much. Love you so much too. When I started playing The Sims, I was probably like seven or six. I went over to a cousin's house for a sleepover and she had Sims, the first Sims game ever. And I played it and I was hooked. I They had to pry my greedy little child hands off that computer. I swear, I, as soon as I got home, I was like, we need this game. And I found it at Costco of all places, so. And to answer the second part of your question, I do play other games. I love playing TF2. I love House Flipper. I love playing Overwatch. I enjoy Animal Crossing. I can't wait for the new one. I love that uh, Breath of the Wild game on the Switch. Really good. Stardew Valley is another game that I really like. World of Warcraft. I've been playing for a long time, so there's a lot. <laughs> Kain asked again, so do you want kids? Yes, and then sometimes no. I, it varies on the day. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. How many kids would you like? I'd either want like four or five kids or maybe just one. So it's either, there's no in between. It's either go big or, you know, stay home with the one. Anaisiros, I totally butchered your name. But you did ask who was your first celebrity crush. So my first celebrity crush is actually Daniel Radcliffe. I can 100% say that with confidence because I was a big, 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 big Harry Potter nerd when I was growing up and I had the meanest crush on, on Daniel Radcliffe who played Harry Potter in the movies. Next question is by Gamer Pros. What motivated you to become a YouTuber? I don't really know. I think it was just a fad at that point when I first started I saw YouTube and I just wanted to be like other YouTubers I just wanted to sit in front of a camera and just kind of talk even though when I first started off it was really really bad it was really bad like this video you can barely hear what I'm saying like I have zero confidence in front of a camera but it's fine it's like it got me going got me where I am right now I just wanted to sit in front of a camera and just just be I think I just wanted to, to B. <laughs> I hope that made any ounce of sense. But yeah. Kawaii Prince asked, how old are you? You never ask a woman's age. Just kidding. It's fine. Um, I am 25. I just turned 25 this year and I'm a little scared. I did have a couple breakdowns, but we'll be fine. I think. I hope. Mmm. G Sizzle E asked again if there was a dinner party and you could invite any five people in the world, who would you invite? So I would definitely invite JK Rowling just because I would want to know what the hell she's doing with these new movies and that last book or technically it was a play and what she's doing with this world because I kind of feel like she's ruining it. So lady, I would love to have a chat. Two, I'd want to sit with the creator of The Sims, the man who created it all. His name is Will Wright. I think it'd be an interesting conversation to have. Three would probably be my grandfather who passed away a couple years back, but he was such an interesting person. He was pretty funny. So it'd be nice to like chat with him again. No one specified they had to be alive or dead. So I'm bringing back whoever. Fourth would be my senior English teacher just cause I thought he was cool. He spoke really, really, really loudly, but he, I thought he was interesting and I actually learned something from him. So that would be nice. And five will probably be Salvador Dali only because he's such an interesting person. I think he 
probably was. I didn't know him, but he seems like he's an interesting fellow, so that would probably be five. So yeah, those are the five that I can think of off the top of my head. There's probably a, so many other more people, but that's all I got right now. <laughs> Now that's all of the questions from YouTube. So moving on to Twitter, you guys can follow me over on Twitter at Jazio. It is free. I post some funny stuff over there sometimes, maybe a little controversial. You never really know what you're getting. But next question comes from a good friend of mine, Joshua. He is, has his own channel here on YouTube. I will leave a link down below just in case you want to check him out. You don't know who he is. He does sim content, but he did ask, where do you want to be in the future? And I feel like this is such a scary question. How dare you? But that's so tricky because I hope to be doing YouTube. I love I love it I love being on here and making video and content being creative. It's probably the best part I'm a very creative person. So hopefully doing that hopefully ventured in some kind of business I really really have always dreamt of running my own kind of like either fashion Line or a fashion store that would be really nice. I have a love for fashion Also writing has been a big passion of mine all my life. So hopefully a writing and and finally publishing uh, this year book uh, because I've been working on this for a very 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 long time and I really want this to finally be done that would be a very lovely future me get this done okay we got a couple here from Joshua he also asked why do you move to stream on twitch or why did you move to stream on twitch um I moved from YouTube gaming because that's where I used to stream on, to Twitch, which is what I'm currently, or where I'm currently streaming on. That's the platform that I use. But I'm not going to lie. I really, really love the YouTube, like streaming on YouTube. It brings me closer to my viewers and the people here that are on this platform. But I'm not going to sugarcoat it and say that this is like the best, this is the best platform to do this on. I do feel that Twitch has the leg up for streamers. They kind of watch out for streamers. It's meant for streamers. Streaming and YouTube's just not cutting it right now. Hopefully one day in the future they fix all that and they kind of make us a priority because I do love streaming. It's it's like live content and I get to interact with people that watch me and like get to know me and I get to know you and I it's a really fun time but YouTube's not cutting it right now at the moment. So hopefully that changes because I really, really love getting to know the people who watch me here. Another question by Joshua. Save some for other people. He also asked, why did you start YouTube? I, again, started it just because I wanted to be I guess known I just wanted to be instead of being maybe invisible next one comes from a long time homie of mine anyways um uh, six god Gino asks what do you like to do on your free time besides a PC gaming um writing would be wine hanging out with friends which you haven't done in a while that would be nice eating as you can tell reading too I've picked up a few books here and there and I've been reading them. Well, mostly listening to audiobooks, but still great content. Ty and Tiff asks, what's going on with your podcast? I mean, it's going. We have five episodes in right now. It's streaming on iTunes and Spotify, which are the big main heavy hitters. You guys can give it a listen. There should be probably a new podcast episode coming out soon. So keep an eye out. Tiffany and Thomas asked, how long did it take you to get your gaming set up together? Took me quite a while. I started it a couple years back, maybe like two years ago, if I'm not mistaken, probably two years ago. And I've still been working on it and it's still not done. So it's been quite the ride. So I'm, I'm gonna say two, two plus years. And then Alyssa over on Twitter asked, have you ever been in any YouTube drama? Not that I can say of right now. No, not any YouTube drama. I'd like to avoid it actually, but sometimes things are just not avoidable. So we'll see what the future has in store. Oh God, I'm kind of scared now. Ghost to Cake asks, how do you become a good YouTuber? I think, I feel like there's a lot of answers to this, but for me personally right now, something that I feel like is very true is learning from your mistakes. Not even just mistakes, but like you can always be improving if you watch back certain things, like maybe a video that you made you're like oh I could improve here I could be improve in my intros I can improve in my execution of certain stuff like you, you know you can always improve and I'm always looking to improve my content and basically what I'm trying to say is that you should just stay improving and looking back at your old stuff and I 
think that's what makes a good YouTuber, always trying to be better. So now we're moving on to Instagram. Uh, you can find me at Jazio also. I post pictures from time to time, not very often. I mostly post stories. Follow me if you want. Uh, but the first question comes from a vampire underscore girl underscore 69. Um, she asked, you miss me? And I'm gonna have to say, Maybe a smidgen, I do, I do. Next question comes from Jalen Simmer. He asks, what made you want to become a content creator on YouTube? And again, I think this is a repeated question, but same old, same old. I just kind of don't want to be. be on the platform, get noticed, thought that would be cool. Next question comes from TMT underscore bubbles. You ask, would you wear a blue wig? Because that would be so cute, blue wig. Hmm, let me go pull it out. I'll be right back. Let's take this off. Let's take the wig off. Put this bad boy on for bubbles. Next question comes from Ceylon. Kalon Nevea. Again, butchered it, but you asked, why are you so nice? I don't really know. Uh, maybe she's born with it. Maybe she's Maybelline. I have no clue. But thank you. Next question comes from young underscore queen. When are you going to do a new challenge on The Sims? I don't know. I have a lot of challenges currently going on. I have the 100 baby challenge, the orphan challenge, which is seasons. I have the Flargan challenge going on. The not so berry challenge. It's just a lot. I don't know. I don't feel like starting any more challenges until I finally finish one. And then Alyssa and Blanton asks, how much CC do you have in all? Oh girl, let's check this out. So if we go to our electronics arts folder and into the mods folder, click properties, it will tell us right here. It's actually not that bad. We're currently sitting at 36.6 giga gigabytes of CC. Could be worse, but could be better. But there you go, that answers your question. And then last but not least, Alyssa, you asked what's your favorite Sims game and what is your favorite Sims 4 pack? So my favorite Sims 4 game will probably be Sims 1. I remember it. It's a childhood memory of mine, and that's why it just remains to be my favorite because I kind of grew up with it. Even though Sims 2 and Sims 3 are probably the most recent, Sims 1 just has a lot of nostalgia to it, and I really like it. It was the first of its kind. It's just, to me, that was my favorite. And then my favorite Sims 4 pack, I mean, I already said my favorite expansion pack, so let's do favorite game pack. Probably be Parenthood just because it adds actual gameplay to the game actually kind of changes the game up a bit either that or dine out but dine out's kind of glitchy so i'm gonna go with parenthood yes that one that one's pretty good and that's about it that wraps up our q a i actually thought we were gonna get a lot more risque questions but i'm glad we didn't and this was actually smooth sailing but i hope you enjoyed it you guys and i will see you all in my next video so bye for now and thank you again